Every one of us carries their own curse. We are all cursed with, with different things. King Midas was cursed with having everything that he touches turned to gold, and, well, I'm cursed to not be there or conscious or awake whenever anything interesting happens ever. Never. I don't know why, I guess I'm just that uninteresting. But something so significant happened and I was not made aware of it until like the next day. And not like the next day, I mean like 24 hours later next day. And it's something I like to talk about because it's something that literally made history. And I'm of course talking about the most recent computer crash. You see, if you were on a computer and you were met with a strange blue screen of death a couple days ago, it's because of this crash because of this thing that happened. And the details of it are so strange because it is it is very ironic. So essentially what happened at some point during the day, a lot of people all over the world were met with a sea of blue screens all over the computers. And these were typically for people who were at work. So if you're on your computer, you were working, no, no more work, you're done, bye, go home. And this wasn't just seen at like office jobs either. It's not just those lousy salesmen trying to reach their commission cap. No, 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 no. This was over multiple different businesses, including airports, which is probably the most important one because any time that, well, you know, airport stuff is done, computers are kind of a big thing when, you know, airports, navigation and stuff. And so the airport business had to be shut down so nobody could fly anywhere, along with a lot of businesses, a lot of the big Fortune 500 companies. And for a while, a lot of people immediately thought that, oh my gosh, it's a cyber attack. We are under attack by, by somebody in, in the system. Somebody has hacked into the internet. There's some kind of, you know, super evil villain demand out there that we've got to find. We need to collect the, the doubloons to pay whoever's doing this off. The thing is, though, is that that is not the case. And the reason for the crash is significantly more stupid because it was done by a tech company whose job is to protect people from malware. And that company is- Hi, I'm editing this, it's late, I made a mistake in this entire video, it's too late to go back and re-record it, but I- The company is CrowdStrike, it's CrowdStrike that did it, I'm just- I've been saying the wrong company name, because I'm an idiot, I'm a little silly. We're gonna go back, I'm just gonna keep putting it in each time. So if it looks a little weird and choppy, that's why. This is a security company that a lot of the big Fortune 500 companies use because, you know, big company, lots of moolah, needs to be protected. And so this is like a super, super secure company where they like super, super protect your data, everything that has to do with, you know, business and being online and with your computers. So this is a company whose specific goal is to protect your computer from malware to a very, very high degree. And this is a company that obviously has a really, really good reputation because a bunch of really, really big company, a lot of companies in the Fortune 500 use this service and use this company. So what went wrong? Did they finally decide that they had enough and that they want to see the world burn instead of trying to fix it? No. They didn't pull a barnacle boy and try to join every villain as lemons. What actually happened is a lot more stupid because it was something that was routine. You see, what happened is this company was updating their systems, and what they did is they pushed an update to everybody that uses their service, and you know, it's just a regular update. It happens. Whenever you use software, every now and again, updates are required in order to make sure that it's, you know, up to date. I, I don't know, how else can I explain this to you? But there was something about this update that for some reason made everything go haywire. Boing, boing, boing. And once this update was installed, everything just went down the drain. Just blue screens of death everywhere. And this wasn't something that was like a quick fix either. This was something that lasted for an extremely, for companies, a very, very long time, hours. And as you can imagine, when this is done to a company, multiple companies, the, the price for something like that happening is extremely Hi. This update that CrowdStrike pushed to all of its users cost billions of dollars over multiple different businesses. A lot of money was lost because of this silly, very, very simple update. As of right now, everything is fixed for the most part. Nobody's getting the blue screen of death anymore, so the company eventually got on it, they fixed it, but by then, the damage was already done. Also, even though it's still I'd argue mostly fixed by now, there are still people who are having issues with their software, so important to point that out. 
And the most ironic thing about the entire situation is that this wasn't like a, a super Russia virus attack. This wasn't some country trying to get their, their revenge uh, for whatever. This was done by a company whose sole purpose is to protect people from malware. And the update that was put to all these systems was to help improve that software to protect from malware. And it ended up costing companies billions and crashed basically most of the world. And while it only affected Windows systems, let's face it, the world is run by Windows. It's the most common type of system because it's the easiest system to use. God help you if you try to learn about the code of Apple. I've, I've seen the loopholes that people have to jump through in order to do Apple things. It's not pretty. That's why a lot of people use Windows. So if you're wondering why you can't get a game on an Apple device, now you know. Because Apple makes it impossible because they like to see you suffer. But I'm getting ahead of myself, so let's get back to this crash. The thing about this crash is that it's really, in hindsight, kind of scary, because it brought companies, multiple companies, to their knees because of one update. Something that was supposed to be a very, very simple thing to do. Update, done, get about your day. But instead, it caused everything to crash. And I also think it's really interesting that all of these companies decided to put all of their eggs in one basket with this specific company. I'm sure there's other companies out there who also provide a service similar, but for some reason, a lot of them decided to go with CrowdStrike. I'm assuming that's because they had a really, really good reputation past tense, obviously. But in the end, it was really scary because all of this damage and the billions of dollars that were lost due to inactivity and people not being able to do business, not to mention people that couldn't go on flights. You know, the world was brought to a standstill just because of one poorly made update. Somebody is losing their job and maybe be, they're probably facing the gallows too. It's tough. You should have looked through your code better. What happened that fateful day is what people thought would happen during Y2K. You know, when people thought that, you know, the the code would get messed up because it's, it's going to, uh, thousand, uh, whatever, it's, it's, it was stupid. Or so we thought, because this is the closest thing to Y2K we are ever probably gonna get in a while. I didn't even think that something like this was gonna happen, but it did, and it, it was scary almost. This isn't something that just affected the, the US or the EU. This is something that went global. Every single country with every single company that decided to use this security service and decided to use their update on their Windows devices. And most companies use Windows devices because again, it's the easiest and simple to use. And while things are all fixed now, it's, it's going to be very interesting to see how this is all going to play out in the future, specifically when it comes to this, this company. They're, I'm pretty sure that company's reputation is now kaput. Because when you trace all of those billions of dollars that were lost, it all goes back to that one specific company. A company whose reputation was so stellar that multiple, again, multiple big Fortune 500 companies decide to use them. Hey, I trust you. Can you handle our security? Can you protect us from malware? Yeah, sure, man. Don't worry about it. Just let me send this update to you and your money's gone. So it's going to be really interesting to see how that company's reputation progresses as the days progress. Obviously, they're in a little bit of a pickle. It's kind of hard to fight yourself out of that situation when you claim to be a service that provides great protection against malware and makes and you know making sure that all of your systems are all hunky-dory and then gives you the blue screen of death. But that's really it. I just want to talk about this really, really funny yet scary situation where everything was brought to an end because of just one silly, stupid update. No cyber attack, just bad coding. But that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching, if indeed you still are. My name is Broxter, and I bid you all adieu.